Well, hi there. If we haven't met, I'm Amber, married to Nordstrom. We have a brand new eight-year-old, a spicy five-year-old, and two-year-old twins. My job is to help you live your best life, spiritually, emotionally, physically. Why? Because I believe that each and every one of you are absolutely, essentially worthy. Okay, listen, we've had quite the weekend, um, perhaps the first broken bone in our body, well, in our family, I've broken some, but none of the littles have, none of the hubby has, but that's actually not what I want to touch on today. So perhaps you're aware, but it's October. Now, you're probably really aware if you're a woman. When October comes, all of these pink ribbons are around and, and awareness is key and we start making sure that women know to, to do those self-checks and to really pay attention. And you know what, I could, I could talk about that today, but I'm gonna put my own spin on it. Because I believe that each and every one of us has our own expertise and our own um, place of genius, if you will. And so I wanna, I want to share a little bit of a story that's actually really close to my heart, but I also want to call you as a woman um, to rise up, to be aware, and maybe look at things just a little bit different. So when I was pregnant with the twins, my mom, sorry, my mom found out she had breast cancer. This actually might be news to some of you because my mom never shared publicly that she had breast cancer. She never told me either until after I had given birth to the twins, until after the twins were about four to six weeks old. She gave me a text. It was late at night and she said, are all the kids down? Can we come over? I thought somebody had died. My parents don't just come over if the kids are in bed. They kind of know that that's our time to be quiet and be calm. Plus, they always want to see the kids. So I literally thought something was wrong. My mom and my dad walk over to our house. My mom sits down and she looks at my dad and she said, you talk. And so my dad shared with me that my mom found out while I was pregnant with the twins that she had breast cancer and that she was going to have a procedure and that they were looking into their next best route. This was hard for me. Um, first and foremost, because I looked at my mom and I said, how long have you known? And the fact that she had carried this alone, well, with my dad, thankfully, but alone, it hurt me. But she also didn't want to tell me while I was pregnant with the twins. And she knew that if she didn't tell her own daughter, she didn't want me to learn through the grapevine. So the fact that she would feel alone... And it actually brought their marriage to a whole nother level because she had to lean on my dad in a, in a way that she, she never knew before, right? And so when she told me, she looked at me and she said, and I don't want to speak for her, so I won't say verbatim or by quotes, but she looked at me and she said, Amber, I've always looked at you like you were a little crazy, right? Because right when I got pregnant with my firstborn, I read everything. I looked into everything. I researched like a crazy. I started asking questions. Why is our world so different today? Why are people's health so extremely chronic, so full of inflammation and pain and diagnosis? Why? I had to know. And it wasn't until my oldest was 15 months old that doTERRA popped on my scene and that, that even deepened my research. But she looked at me and she said, I've always looked at you like you were a little crazy, but I need you to teach me everything you know. And um, I'm, I'm fine with being the crazy one who is really cautious of what goes in my kids' body, who's incredibly careful of what goes on my body. I'm fine with being the crazy person. I'm also fine with being the crazy person who believes that you can overcome the worst diagnosis in the most natural form and fashion. Would you love to hear my mom's story? I, you know what? Maybe we should interview her. But I'm going to leave that for her. If you guys want that, you let me know. You comment. If you want me to kind of bring her story alive with her in person, she's probably going to kill me when she watches this. But I want to touch on 
what I can with you guys today. And that is to be cautious of what goes on and in your body. Did you know that your deodorant is full of CRAP? I will keep this child friendly. It's full of it. And yet, where does your deodorant go? It goes underneath your arms, right next to those breasts. Let's talk about your showers. What's in your soap? I'm telling you guys, be your own advocate because if you do not ask the questions, nobody else will. That is why I am passionate about natural solutions. This is why I am passionate about our world waking up. And I don't say this to guilt or shame anyone, but here's the hard thing is I am waking up and checking Facebook throughout the day and I am seeing a new diagnosis, you guys. I'm done with it. In fact, dare I say it's a righteous anger. What are you using in your showers? What are you slathering on your body after your shower? What are you putting on your face and on your lips? What are you putting in your body when you're eating, when you're drinking? What are you wearing for your perfume? I bring this up because you guys, when you're talking about October and you're talking about breast cancer awareness, let's talk about all the fake hormones and things that are ruining our bodies, that are taxing our systems. Let's talk about the fake hormones that are causing just our bodies to be on absolute defense, crying out for help. And our diagnosis are mere symptoms of a root issue. Please hear me. I know I'm fired up today, but it's only because I'm fine with being the crazy. But if, if my craziness can help one person reach out, if my outlook on life, call it drastic, call it extreme, yes, we live our household in a, in a very different fashion. In fact, I love the nannies that come in because we have nannies and, and at the get-go, they're kind of like, wow, like your kids like eat this? Like they're, they're chugging green drinks, right? And they're, they're totally unprocessed and they're in their raw form and, and the fruits and the veggies and they crave a vitamin. They earn a vitamin, you guys. It's a treat, nothing here. Their probiotics, they all flock to me for their probiotics. Here's the thing. We have a choice for what we put in our bodies and how we live will be passed down. Even if your littles are older, it doesn't matter. You control you. And so I'm only coming, I'm coming to you with all of these questions because if you do not start asking, why is our world different today than it was a decade ago? than it was two decades ago. Maybe some of you even remember three, four, five decades ago. Start asking the hard questions. Start looking into things. Start reading the ingredients and recognizing what you're putting on and in your body. I beg you. Because I am so heartbroken over every diagnosis because it hits too close to home. But there is life and there's life in abundance, and there's freedom, and there are tools, and there are, I'm telling you, natural solutions that will aid the body, that will give life to the body. Stop tearing it down. I'm not gonna go into detail because I don't want Facebook to shut me down, (laughs) but reach out to me because I can share with you what we did for my mom. I can share with you how we sought out both modern and alternative, and she is cancer free. She is absolutely cancer free and she never once had to tear down her body with a chemical cocktail that destroyed her from the cellular level. Never. And listen, I will never tell you what route to go, but I will always provide information so that you, you can make the best decision for you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. It's not my job. My job is to know tools and offer resources so that you, if you're a praying person, can pray about it and go with your gut. Do not be bossed around by a fear industry. Do you hear me? I'm telling you, rise up. 
especially if you're a believer, it's Sunday. I'm on fire today because I am desperate for the church to rise up. I am. Woo, you better get woke. All right, I'm out.